Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. For those who don't know me, my name is Vinolia. Thanks for tuning in. If you're new to my channel, please don't be shy to like, share, comment, subscribe down below to support your girl. Yeah, and if you're not new here, thanks for tuning in. So on this video, I'm going to be talking a little bit more about myself, me, myself, and I, just so you guys get to know me a little bit more. Straight to the point, huh? Well, I'm single, I'm not dating anyone, and I feel like anybody that's dating during this pandemic, what are you doing? Like, why? <laughs> you should be in isolation. You shouldn't be going out dating or going to meet people. What is that? So, um, yeah, I'm isolated and I'm on lockdown, so I cannot be dating right now. Well, I was born in Johannesburg, but I was raised in Cape Town, so I would tend to speak more Kosa than I do Tswana. My home language is actually Tswana, but then I would tend to speak more Kosa because of my surroundings. In Cape Town, it's more Kosa speaking people, so, um, <laughs> yeah. So I'm a flight attendant, stewardess, cabin crew, safety officer, whatever you'd like to call it. <laughs> But there's also been a lot of people that's asking me how to become a flight attendant and things like that. So I decided to do a separate video for those who are interested in that. Just so I don't bother anybody else that doesn't want to know about being a flight attendant. Pet peeves. I have a couple. I'll actually, I'll give you two of my worst. So the one thing is Unyanzula. I don't know it in English. But when you, I'll show you. If you're going to do this... dragging your feet and I could hear the sound of your shoes dragging along oh, that's like I understand if you have an injury or whatever but if you find and you're gonna be dragging just for the sake of being lazy to walk just I, I can't like I, I cannot I just it's just I think for me it's just the sound of your shoes getting ruined I don't know if you just don't care like if you're tired, just sit, take a break, sit down, recuperate some energy, and then, like, you can get to stepping. Like, if you, ah, uh, I just can't. My second one is just loud chewing. I know it sounds basic, but this, it reminds me, there's this video on YouTube, or there was this video that was trending of this woman um, eating... There's a piece of vegetable. I don't know if it was a salad. I don't know what she was eating, but she was eating a piece of vegetable in front of a mic, and she's busy just chewing, and it went viral. I don't know. I didn't know that people love that sound or they like that sound. I don't know if they were making fun of it or I don't know what it was. But as soon as I watched that video, I was just ah, uh, no, 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 no. So my spare time in general, I'm quite boring. <laughs> so I'm normally at home in my room or in my space and just in my own zone, literally. Either reading or just researching content online. I love Pinteresting. <laughs> um, if not that, I'm chilling with my friends. Um, yeah, or sometimes I just take a drive along the beach road and just, you know, have a good time. That's for me. That's a good time for me. That's that's amazing. I love doing that. Um, but during this quarantine, because I can't do most of that, or I can't be with my friends, and I can't go driving, um, I've been learning languages. So I've been learning German. So with that, I've been downloading apps, listening to podcasts. If you learn a new language, I feel like that's the best advice I can give you: is to download apps, um, listen to podcasts. If you can, download some series or watch series either on Netflix or anywhere else. Um, speak to friends that can speak that language. Even though you don't understand everything, but it's really nice to kind of like get the different words that you've learned and make up sentences, things like that. For me, that's helped me, even though like I'm not perfect or anything, but it's amazing. I, I like that. Also, I've been taking online courses. So I've been doing an English course online and it takes up a lot of your time as well. 
um, because you're able to do a lot of reading, there's a lot of assignments and tests that you have to do, so you focus. That's helped me a lot. Like, I hate being bored. I love that in this time I'm able to do all of those things. Um, I'm obviously unable to go to work because um, all the airports and flights are closed and all of that. Um, what else? Oh, I've been cooking and baking a lot. <laughs> so, I think so far I've been taking quarantining quite well. So, I'm not always too bored. And yes, I do take a lot of time off as well. Like on some days I just don't do anything. And lastly, I've been exercising. I'm not a very big exercise person, um, but I've taken the time out to also download some exercise apps, um, also yoga apps to just give myself some energy, my body some strength for throughout the day. And my favorite part of this whole quarantining thing is that I'm able to find time to create more YouTube content. So, yeah. Uh, actually I do. Let me know in the comments if you're able to do this. What? I'm talented. <laughs> One thing that people don't know about me is I wear glasses. So I'm going to show you how I look like my glasses. These are them. And yeah, I usually go and test my eyes every six to eight months and I'll get new lenses if needs be. Um, but I hate, I just, I don't like my glasses. I want to get a new frame. I want to get a different frame, which I'm going to very soon. I want to get those Woody Allen uh, black frames or thick black frames. I really love those um, But you'd normally find me with my glasses when I'm either at home or I'm going to the mall or sometimes when I'm driving, but I usually don't wear my glasses J just because and Sometimes I would wear my glasses when I go to work and people will be like, oh you wear glasses. Yes, Carol I wear glasses People have different ways of going about dealing with insecurities. Um, time and also knowing that I have a big personality. Nobody would say that I have insecurities. I have many, it's just that I tend to embrace them rather than um, show you that I'm insecure about a certain thing, you know? Um, it reminds me when when I was at school. So remember when you used to pay a five rand to wear civvies at school? If it was for fundraising or it was because there was a public holiday, I'm not really sure, I don't remember. So I hate it these days because I always felt like my clothes weren't as good as my peers' clothes. There was even this one time, I so I'd pay the five rand, but I'll just wear, I'll just wear my school uniform just because I didn't want people to see like what I was wearing. I just didn't like my clothes. But then I realized that that got me more attention than if I were to wear my clothes. So I decided to just go ahead with it and wear my civvies. And then over time, I realized that nobody was really focused on what I was focused on. So we'd go on about the day like normal. Meanwhile, in my head, I'm thinking, ah, oh, but my jeans don't look as nice as her jeans or things like that. And then with time, that's why I'm saying with time, you'd realize that what you're worried about at that moment, you won't be worried about that in the next two, three, four years time. Like, what you are actually worried about, some people don't even notice that. Some people don't even know you're insecure about that. Do you get what I mean? Someone may think that you are so beautiful and so perfect. Meanwhile, you are thinking, oh my gosh, but my body's like this, or my hair's like this, or things like that. Um, you should just feel that you are more than your insecurity and you can always overcome it in a way that you can be a boss babe. The more you show the world that you are amazing, you're an amazing human being, like you just show yourself and you show people that you know what, I'm actually perfect. I was created this way, 
I wouldn't be the way I am if it wasn't perfect, you know? So, yeah, just with time, just do what you love. Embrace yourself, embrace your body, embrace your looks, embrace what you can't do. It's like, so what you can't do this, but you are good at something else. Embrace that and live your best life. The Lion King. Definitely the Lion King. I'm still not over Mufasa's death. Number one, my mom. She is everything. Anything. Like, <laughs> I don't think I would have been able to get through half of the things that I thought I was going to be stuck at in my life without her help. Like, wow. That woman is absolutely amazing. Second to that, Beyonce. Third to that, <laughs> women in general so whatever people think that women in general are incapable of doing i love and i'm inspired by them it could be even something simple like starting a youtube channel i'm inspired by a lot of girls that started a youtube channel um like how big they are now but if you see their first video it wasn't that great either the lighting wasn't amazing or whatever but now they're amazing. They show people that it's possible. Like you're able to live your dream. You're able to um, accomplish anything you have in your mind if you just believe in yourself. And if you're just consistent with that belief, I, I'm inspired. I'm really inspired by that. Thank you guys for watching my video. I hope you liked it. And I hope you guys got to know a little bit more about me. And I hope to see you guys with my next video. Don't forget you guys to please like, share and subscribe down below for more videos. See you soon. Bye.